Hi, this is Charlie of the Care Association, and today I'm on to spend some time with Elita Reyes Carr and her husband, Glenn. They are the owners of Glenville Pines. Let me ask you a question. How did you get into this business, Elita? Well, I'm a nurse, and I used to work out in the field, and I noticed that some people didn't belong in nursing homes. So I said, I always wanted to take them home. So we have to just take her home. And then um, one day I said, you know, I really would like to have some people and give them some good care. And that's how I started. You you just got a home and then you just opened up seven month and then built yes. from there. Yes. And Glenn, how did you uh, participate in this? Well, I've been in the business for at least eight, eight to ten years. And I'm... Um, I work with a nursing home, I'm a CNA, and um, I notice a lot of times people in the nursing home don't really get the care that they need. And um, I said to my wife, you know, we could do better than what we see here. So let's try to open a place and see what we could do. So eventually, this, that's how this come about. Well, Elita, let's say that I'm a, 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 a family member and I want to place my, my, my mother someplace like this place, or I'm considering another place. How do you describe your business to me? What would you say to me? Well, I will tell you that all my residents can tell you they love it here. They love the food. Uh, we cater to all different types of diets. Everything that we cook. We make it from scratch. I make my own seasoning. I buy everything fresh. They eat a lot of fruits, vegetables. They just love the food. And I am from the Caribbean. We are both from the Caribbean. So we cook a lot of uh, nice food with spices and flavor. And they love the flavor. Another thing is they like the the feeling of the home. They feel like they, they are home. If they want to get up at 9 o'clock in the morning and... They get up at 9 o'clock, I make them a fresh breakfast. If they want to get up early, they get up early. They, you know, they feel like they are home. And I treat them like I would treat my mother and my father. That sounds really good. Yes, Can do. you tell me a little bit more about the food, the menu, and uh, uh, how you prepare, and what, what do you do for the, what's different from the uh, other places? Well, my, when we cook, like I said, I make my own seasoning. I don't buy things that are in the can and open the can and give it to them. I make my own seasoning. If I'm going to make a, an omelet, I use fresh uh, herbs and onions and I put it in that omelet. Then when I serve it, the plate looks like, you know, it just makes you want to eat. Fresh. <laughs> it makes you hungry because the way I place it, I put a little leaf over here, I put this and give them a lot of different colors. Uh, every time they're going to eat lunch, they have a fresh salad, they have soups, they have choices. I give them choices too. If they don't like to eat fish, then I cook them chicken breast, if they whatever, whatever, whatever they, they like. Whatever you know. they want. Whatever they yeah. want. That sounds wonderful. I make them fresh juice. Fresh juice too? <laughs> yes. I have a juicer, stuff. I have a food processor, I make all my food real fresh. Wow. I, I make, I squeeze my own oranges, make them orange juice. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, can you tell me a little bit about, about aging in place? Oh, yes. Um, we just had a new resident and she was looking for a place. She couldn't find a place that would fit her furniture. And I thought, that's no problem. You can bring your furniture. So I took my furniture out of the house and let her bring her furniture. And that's aging in place. She wants to be in a familiar place with things that she's used to, things that are, belong to her. I said, no problem. You bring your own bed, you bring your own dresser, you bring your own chair. As long as it's, it's going to fit, you can bring it. And, uh, and they can stay here as, as long as they required to stay. So here. even when they decline, they can, they can still stay. Yeah. As, yeah. yeah. All, all we do is when they're really declining and they cannot hardly walk anymore, we uh, contract with hospice and hospice comes Come in, in and they take care of them here and we um, partner with them. Yeah. Hospice. 
That's a, what about pricing? We are very uh, reasonable, flexible, flexible prices. Um, we take a lot of the uh, diversion program, uh, like a lot of the insurances. Now they have diversion program. We do take them. We sometimes take people that are brought here from adult protective services, even though they have a low income. I said I'll work with them. This money is just is not the the main reason why I have this place. I really want to help. You're very accommodating. Mm -hmm. So as the as the uh, as the decline in health, the prices your prices kind of stay the same. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. We have a contract. When they come in and um, we give them a price and we're not right raising the price up and down all the time. We we just what work with the price whatever in the contract. Yeah. That's what that's what they pay. Oh, okay. So because larger communities will increase the price no. as you as a decline. No, we don't. No. And everything yeah. is inclusive. Like I'm not going to charge you extra because I have to wash your clothes. We wash, we do the laundry. We give them the three meals a day plus snacks. We take them out to doctor's appointments. Everything is inclusive. They will do all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of the things we talked about was aging, aging in place, and both of you had spent a lot of time in other institutions or, or large communities working with uh, mm -hmm. the elderly people. Can you tell me a story about how uh, it works in other places, or a story of what happened? Well, in compared I, to yours, I work one in a nursing home. And um, they had an assisted living next door to the nursing home. And I can give you one instance where this lady, which was kind of prestigious with money and everything, she had a beautiful room, beautiful furnitures. And as she declined, they moved her from the assisted living over into the nursing home. And I think that is what really pushed her over the edge a little quicker because she wasn't satisfied. The, the, the standard of living that she was living in the nursing home declined. And that get her, she passed away much sooner than she is expected She got very to, depressed. Because she got very depressed. Very depressed. Because she was used to... She could not handle nice the nursing thing. home. Yeah. The situation is... And, and you know, so if your family depressed. members here with us, that won't happen. They get, they decline. They could stay right here. Right here. We Still get the same the care. The same care. If nothing changes, we just give them more assistance. And more love. One thing I wanted to love. ask you was, uh, what about activities? What what kind of activities do you have? Well, we are really really different. Yeah, we have different type of activities because we do our own activities, and we have peop um people who come in and give activities and um, we have people who will come in and read with them, sit with them. We have different churches that come in and have prayer time with them, service. And, and on Fridays we have happy, happy hour. hour. And our happy hour he extends them they uh, you know they go as long as they want to. And they dance, and we play different types of music. Uh, we have a lady that's a Spanish, and she likes Spanish music, so we play it for her. We we play dominoes, bingo. we play bingo, we play a lot of different games. We have people that come in and play Monopoly with them. Uh, we go out on outings a lot. Uh, we go to the stores, we go shopping. We take them out to lunch. We, we take them out to lunch. Yeah. Put them all in one car? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a yeah, van. Car. We, have a van. <laughs> we have a van. Oh, and we all yeah. go in there and yeah. we go to lunch and dinner. Or because we want them to still feel the same way the things that they used to so do. They can still do that. We want it, want it to be that way so they don't feel mm -hmm. like they are in a place where they, have no they are isolated. Mm -hmm. So we take them out. They can go to the hairdresser. Do they hear who want to go? Take them to the barber shop, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. They love the so, dollar store, yeah. so we go at least once or twice a week. We go to the dollar store. Shopping with them. And yeah. they shop, and they buy whatever they want to buy. And like I said, from, I've been in the business for about eight, ten years. And um, when we started this, we wanted to do something different, different. Mm -hmm. than all the other homes. We don't want it to be because of somebody doing that particular way we want to do it that we want to do it so that when they are here they don't feel like 
they are in a facility they feel like more like their home yeah. that's the whole idea well, i can just feel it you know, yeah. talking to you guys i can feel that, yeah. uh, that that what you're trying to say to me and uh well, let me ask you a question you you must have some story that you would like to share oh uh, yeah we have a lot of stories pick we one. have a resident mm -hmm. she's our first resident and when she came here she weighed 90 pounds and she could hardly walk she was very sick, very confused. She didn't want to be in the nursing home, so her family took her out and brought her here. In a few months, her son called me and he said, you know, thank you for giving me back my mother. This is the mother that I know. She is back to normal. What did you do? I said, nothing. I just treated her like I treat my mother. I just gave her what she needed. I talked to her. I gave her a lot of love. I reassure her and we go out and we talk, we go shopping, she loves clothes, I love clothes. So that's what made her come back. She sees that she has a reason to be alive and I told her that, you know, she has a beautiful family, she needs to get better, get well again. And she little by little she came, you know. As a matter of fact, her son came here when we had just opened. And look at the place. But for some reason, he left and he went someplace else and put her there. And um, somebody recommend him to here. And he came back. And when she came in, she said, you know, this is, this is the best thing he could have ever done for me. <laughs> she weighs 130 here. pounds now. Yeah. You just gave us all your secret spices. My secret oh, is yes. cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way you describe it, I, could, yeah. I would yeah. love to have dinner over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Well, well, that was a great story. And thanks for sharing that with us. And the last thing I'd like to share with you is if you are looking to place your family member in maybe a large community, well, that's okay. If you want to place them there and the facility needs, it's okay. But understand that their health will decline and the day will come that you're going to have to, they're going to say, you go to a nursing home. Well, understand that you have another choice. You can come to a home like this and spend the rest of your days in a home like this where we get the love and the care and it'll be a much better place, a much better option. Thanks and we'll see you again sometime in the future.